everyone will here with part two of my flea market finds uh, we just covered all the stuff back there now we're going to move on to the table here I thought this was neat from Jacqueline Kennedy um, notice no postmark and it says Mrs. Candy is deeply appreciative of your sympathy and grateful for your thoughtfulness I imagine uh, somebody sent um, some flowers or something after uh, JFK's assassination um, or maybe she also lost a uh, son too so maybe uh, um, maybe it has something to do with that um, but a neat little piece paid five bucks for that a piece of Wedgwood uh, I think that's called Jasper Ware uh, paid five for that a uh, brass uh, donkey bottle opener people love bottle openers must be a lot of collectors out there for them I sell every uh, the figural uh, ones uh, always do well uh, paid uh, five bucks for him probably put about uh, 30 on that uh, this is pretty neat Grace it's a uh, cruise line uh, US International Silver Grace Line. Clean it up, and uh, um, that was seven for that. Uh, a pair of opera glasses, nothing too special. Paid uh, ten dollars for those. Probably end up getting about thirty. Scrimshaw belt buckle, paid six bucks. That's about a uh, thirty dollar piece. Typewriter ribbon uh, 10 paid uh, four bucks for that, and that's about a uh, $20 piece. It uh, can hardly make it out, but it's a Sambles, Campbell's Coop, uh, mm, Campbell's Soup Kid. Tough to say. A uh, little mug advertising piece paid two bucks for that. Uh, the Handy Family Glue Pot. Set this on the stove, came with glue in it, and uh, you got your glue that way. Uh, pretty neat. Never seen one before. It's got a date from the, I would imagine, 30s or 40s, maybe earlier. Um, as I said, that was five bucks for that. Got a uh, oil spout. Never seen one like that. Uh, that was uh, six bucks. I think this is for an inkwell. Um, supposed to have an insert, I believe. Uh, they paid five bucks for it, and the reason why is marked uh, Bradley and Hubbard. Um, they're known for their quality pieces. Uh, clean that up a little bit and uh, do a little more research on there. Drinking glass is neat. Got a uh, television camera. And Tales of the Texas Rangers on TV. Nice uh, 50 style um, bar glass. That was uh, 50 cents. Also for 50 cents, Apollo 11 glass. Um, in pretty good shape. A couple little dings here and there. But. Uh, Got a mosquito buzzing me here. A uh, piece of uh, pier point, uh, pear point uh, glass. Uh, only worth about 15 bucks, but I paid a buck, so that's not too bad. A uh, Fire King uh, mug, 50 cents. Uh, Fred Flintstone uh, puppet, Muppet. I don't know what you would call him. Um, he was uh, two bucks. USS Antietam mug, that was five bucks. It's a fallout protection for your home, sent put out by the uh, Civil Defense. Got that for free. Uh, nice fishing reel. Looks like it's never been used. 
marked Red River. Really good shape. Paid uh, six for that. Haven't looked it up. A uh, don't know what that says. A prefint. Oh, is that uh, is that German or I don't know. It's a uh, mustache mug. Um, paid a dollar for that. Oh, and the uh, little cast iron uh, safe bank. Uh, that was seven. A uh, whole box of. There's that mosquito. Still buzzing me. Whole box of uh, depression. That was five bucks for the uh, nine pieces. Neat little lid at Stein. That was five. Another one. That was five. It's a new piece. Not very old. But uh, got some uh, good quality. Looks good. Moving on. Got a whole box of... They told me it's a hundred and five keys in here. All different kinds, all different sizes. There's one here. Look at that thing. I don't even know what that would fit. But uh, some unusual stuff. And uh, some, uh, some, uh, uh, some clock keys in here. So, these always do well. Um, paid 30 bucks for this entire box. There's the uh, clock keys. So group them up and, uh, you know, the big ones by themselves, uh, they'll bring, uh, probably bring around two, three dollars a piece. The smaller ones around a dollar to two a piece. Um, so some money to be made there. Uh, dog pictures. Really well done. Uh, just a pup by uh, Rita Swan. And uh, Don Swan is a uh, local artist who's uh, pretty well known. I uh, never run into anything by uh, uh, Rita Swan. Uh, so we'll uh, gotta look those up, but I only paid uh, six dollars for the three pictures. Now, uh, who knows? Maybe I'll get 30 a piece. Whole lot of patches, love fine patches. Uh, some nice uh, Colts iron on. It's a neat uh, fishing patch. It's a Steelers patch. I paid uh, ten dollars for the uh, lot of patches. I got uh, one, two, three, four, six of them here. And uh, you know, you're looking at uh, probably ten dollars a piece uh, for those, maybe more. Uh, coffee mill and a uh, regular. Don't know if this is coffee or just a general mill. Um, made by Blackhawk. Uh, one of these in a whole lot better shape sold on Worth Point for $130. Clean it up a little. I might get about $75 for this. And uh, this coffee mill, um, that's probably um, about uh, well, maybe $60 or $75 for that. Uh, the uh, pipe rack. You can fit a lot of pipes on there. Uh, looks like uh, 16 pipes. Uh, paid two dollars for it. It's well made, made out of oak. Uh, that should bring. I don't know. Uh, find the right uh, collector. Um, definitely going to make some money there. A uh, old woman that lived in a shoe uh, bank. I uh, got that for two bucks. A uh, little advertising piece, uh, shoehorn, that was a buck. Uh, Twelve Days of Christmas glasses put out by um, Anchor Hockey. That was uh, four dollars. Old egg crate, two bucks. Um, codfish crate, paid eight for that. A, uh, that's a Danbury Mint um, train and coal car marked uh, Crescent Limited 
Uh, paid 20 for that. Um, took a chance. That Danbury Mint stuff seems to go pretty well. Um, gotta look that up. Love this old crate. Look at this. A&P High Grade Matches. The Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea, Tea Company. 144 boxes. That's just a cool piece. Um, really like it. And paid 30 to get it though. Uh, U.S. Army uh, winter jacket. Paid two dollars for that. That's a really good deal. Might keep that for myself. Uh, vintage uh, hook rug. Really good condition. Uh, imagine that's from the uh, 40s or so. Uh, paid 15 for that. It's got a good look to it. Good shape. Um, that could be a hundred dollar or more piece right there. Uh, something I know nothing about and something I paid a lot of money for um, Got two snowboards uh, This one is uh, Burton wood core uh, And this one is a Solomon They're gonna be a real pain to pack that's for sure um, But uh, I paid uh, 120 for a pair of these I've seen these Burton boards go for anywhere from a hundred to 300 by themselves um, so I took a chance um, we'll see maybe I should wait closer to uh, winter time uh, the boots uh, came with them and in the bag too uh, Got a couple pocket watch clocks. Went to a yard sale. A guy was selling pocket watches. I uh, thought I was going to do really well, but the uh, earliest, uh, uh, the cheapest pocket watch he had for sale was like a uh, hundred bucks. So he knew his pocket watches. Uh, but for the clocks, he only wanted ten dollars a piece. Uh, you can see they look like um, pocket watches. Uh, this is a uh, United, and it still works. Uh, paid ten for that, and the jewel is this old Budweiser from 1959. Looks like a uh, pocket watch, and I was got a bit of a surprise when I looked this thing up on Worth Point. Uh, one of these mint condition, I mean absolutely mint. Sold for eleven hundred dollars. This one, you can see it's got wear. It does run. I haven't. Uh, it lights up, but I haven't tried it. Um, I got to put some light bulbs in it. Um, but I still think I've seen similar ones like this sell uh, right around three hundred dollars. So that's what we're gonna put on that. Three hundred bucks. Uh, happy with that find for sure. And. Uh, Last item of the day, got a pair of uh, Red Wing shoes, uh, still in the box with the tags. Uh, Red Wing, very good. Uh, these are work boots with a steel toe. These things sold, um, you can look on eBay, a pair just sold for $150. It's the uh, model uh, 2280. Uh, some nice boots. And I paid 15 for those. Lady had 20 on them and uh, got them for 15. So there we go. Uh, got a lot to uh, spend a lot, but uh, got a lot of good stuff. And uh, we'll get it on and uh, see how it does. So until uh, next time, it's Will the Yard Sales Survivalist. And we'll talk again soon.